So this next mnemonic is to help you remember some of the things you need to consider with your patients put on bleeding precautions. Ten of reasons why someone can be on bleeding precautions. The most common is related to a patient receiving maybe heparin or Coumadin. Um, and typically patients, when they're put on bleeding precautions, this comes with various nursing orders that you have to do, um, a flag put on the chart, those kind of things. But there's some things you really want to remember. So the mnemonic is RANDI, R-A-N-D-I. So Randy's on bleeding precautions or something like that. So R, razor, or um, electric blades. So you want to make sure you're educating these patients and letting them know, you know, when you're shaving, if you bleed, when if you nick yourself, which a lot of guys do, and it's not that big of a deal, but if a patient is on bleeding precautions, they can bleed a lot more, and it can be a much bigger deal. So typically, you want to utilize um, a, an electric razor, and they're probably not going to have as close of a shave as the next guy, but it's really essential because that, that bleeding might not stop. So it's really important to make sure that they're educated appropriately and using the appropriate uh, tools. So check your hospital's policies and procedures about which razors are acceptable for you to use on them, and what they're you're allowed to what they're allowed to use when shaving themselves while in the hospital. The next one is A aspirin. Typically, if a patient is on an anticoagulant, they're not getting aspirin because it interferes and kind of enhances the effect of the anticoagulant. But there are some cases that require it. So it's enough to, you really want to double check to make sure, hey, do you guys really want this patient taking aspirin if they have it ordered? Typically, they won't. Um, the N stands for needles. So you want to avoid excessive needle sticks. Um, and if you're going to be need to stick them for whatever reason, make sure you're using the smallest gauge as possible, but you're definitely wanting to avoid needle sticks with patients on bleeding precautions. And that does go down to the D, decrease needle sticks. And then I, injury. You want to protect them from injury. If they fall and hit, hit something, it might not look like a big deal, but they could have some internal bleeding going on. Um, or if they get a cut or whatever, it could be a much, much bigger deal than if someone who is not on bleeding precautions has. So these patients, you've got to watch out for falls um, and watching them very closely and protecting them from injury. So again, the mnemonic is RANDI, R-A-N-D-I, R, razors, A, aspirin, N, needles, D, decrease needle sticks, and I, injury, protect from injury. So that's your mnemonic for your patients on bleeding precautions. This has been another episode of the Nursing Mnemonics Podcast by NRSNG.com with your host, Katie Kleber, RN, CCRN. To grab all of our nursing cheat sheets, head over to NRSNG.com slash freebies. That's NRSNG.com slash freebies. Thank you so much for being here today. We love you guys. We thank you so much. We want to see you guys succeed. Listen, we're all in this together. Now go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.